Today we're at Magic Kingdom. Welcome home. And today we actually have Genie Plus. If you've not seen me before, my name is Danny Dalamo and welcome back to part two of my Walt Disney World vlog series. I'm gonna say firstly is it's a very very nice day here in the Magic Kingdom and honestly I'll never forget the last time I was here it was like eight degrees so yeah I very much like this <laughs> and you've actually just joined me at the perfect time because we are due to make another lightning lane so these are the availability for the next couple of hours and as you can see quite a lot of it is later on today because the park is really really busy today but anyway guys if you like this type of content make sure you smash that like button and if you haven't clicked subscribe already hit that subscribe button honestly though it doesn't matter how many times you come to disney if it's once or twice or god knows how many times the castle you still get that like that wow factor it's just gorgeous bring rolls burger pods time oh my god it is warm it is really warm right so the cheeseburger pods are nine dollars 25 and oh let us show you I, honestly right i know they're expensive because they are spring rolls but they are so nice and you get like a little dip with them honestly this is like a must for me every time i come to magic kingdom i must get them honestly the best way to explain them is they taste like a mcdonald's cheeseburger but in a spring roll now for some reason oh my god i'm there's a black beetle oh no i hate beetles get away from us for some reason genie plus is not letting us book my third reservation this is the thing with genie plus you will find like I'll get messages nearly all the time about this where like we've been to the parks and it, I've on honestly said in a vlog previously they can use three fast passes a day and then they've only been able to use two and then some of us have used four now I know you can use four because I've used four myself before but it's just literally saying I can't book another fast pass and I've waited the two hours God knows. Gonna start the day in Tomorrowland because the people mover is just ahead. Any of you that have watched my vlogs before know I love the people mover. And believe it or not, I didn't actually get a fast pass slash genie plus for this. The reason being is because I just thought I might be able to get on it anyway. But uh, looking at all these people heading there, maybe not. Monsters Inc, 20 minutes. That's not too bad. Buzz Lightyear, 60 minutes. Astro Orbiter, 40 minutes. Tomorrowland Speedway, 35 minutes. Actually, let's have a look at this board. So you've got so you've got 70 minutes for Jungle Cruise, Pirates 55, Magic Carpets 45, Space Mountain 70. People oh, people move us only 30 minutes. It, the queue looks really busy. Hall of Presidents, uh, Haunted Mansion 55, Peter Pan's Flight 90. However, though, it's busy, but I have seen it a lot busier. When I was here in November last year, it was a lot busier. I'm now in Cosmic Rays and I've got myself a salad and I got a drink, honestly. It is so warm out there. I thought I need to sit down. I wouldn't care. I only had the cheeseburger pods around about 45 minutes ago. But it took so long to get served just because the queue was so crazy. And yeah, you heard me right. I'm in Cosmic Rays. Don't ask us why. <laughs> it's so loud in here. But you know what? I'm in Disney World. I'm not moaning. Anyway, I got the chicken strip salad. And you get some like sauce of it. I don't know what sort of sauce it is oh god didn't, didn't smell too good and this cost for the for the greek salad it was eleven dollars 29 and for the coke it was 3.99 if any is are wondering as well i've still not managed to get the fast pass sorted you know how i've got the first two i don't have the third one sorted yet i don't know why it just the app just isn't working it's just the, yeah, the app just isn't working for some reason. But anyway, we've got a fast pass for Space Mountain in the next 15 minutes. So I'm gonna have to eat this, and then we'll go to Space Mountain. Just a quick one as well, with Cosmic Rays, please don't think that I'm in here saying that this restaurant's awesome because the food is, is it, it's, it's a nice place for the kids, but the food's quite average for the price that you pay. I wouldn't recommend, if you, you know there is other places on property in Magic Kingdom, you can probably get a better meal than Cosmic Rays. Just get you out the sun, really. If you, if you need a break, if you need to get away from the, well, I, I say, if you need to get away from the hustle and bustle. It's very loud in here, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Just get you out the sun, doesn't it? Queue for Space Mountain, I've never seen it on the outside. We've actually got Lightning Lane. Each Lightning Lane, you've just got to check in. 
And guys, it's official. This is my first ride of this series. And I'm gonna be honest, this lightning lane was worth absolutely everything because I would say to get from the entrance to here, two or three minutes. And just a word of warning, because you have not seen me on a ride before, like if you're new here, anyone who's watched my vlogs before will tell you, turn the volume down. I'll give you as a warning. I would just recommend always turning the volume down when you see me go on a ride. And here we go, this is always the tight squeeze. Oh my god! Ah! seconds to launch <laughs> oh my god I feel like my head's gonna come off oh my god that was intense in fact actually I'm actually shaking honestly the more I go on that raging or the more brutal it gets or I'm just getting really old. Yeah, I think it's more the letter. I think I'm just, I'm getting really old. So anyway, let's go on a ride where it's a little bit more tame. Haunted Mansion, yay! And I actually have a lightning lane for Haunted Mansion, so let's see how this goes. It's 50 minutes for standby. Let's see how long it takes for lightning lane. You actually look really careful. You can see a lizard right there, pretty much right in the center of your screen. Please, and make room for everyone. There's no turning back now. <laughs> Bless, there's a woman just here, and I must say all she says is watch your step. I feel sorry for her, like literally that's all she said since, since I got in this queue, bless her. That must be so repetitive. The eyes are watching. Oh, that's so creepy. See, that freaks me out like a coffin with nails in it. That's awful. Now, that'll keep you up tonight. Do you know what? That's the first time I've noticed them owls up there. Do you know, even though it's called Haunted Mansion, if like any of you like, have got like young kids and you are worried about going on it because of like the name Haunted Mansion, you don't want the kids to be scared, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's that scary. Obviously, I am like 30 though. Maybe like for a young kid, they might find it scary, but it's such, honestly, it's just such a lovely ride. And I tell you, honestly, the main thing that's good about that ride is if it's a day like this, it's just mega warm and you just need half an hour out the sun. Well, I wouldn't say half an hour, it's not that long. I wish it was that long. But you know, if you just need a bit of time out the sun, perfect. There's two rides like that in this theme park that I love that last a while and get you out the sun. Haunted Mansion and Hall of Presidents, that's just over there. Two, honestly, two, two of my favourite rides in this park, actually. Right, next stop is Skipper Canteen because we do have a diner reservation. And I know you're thinking, more food? Really? Yep, nah, it's all just been really bad timing. So, when I went to Cosmic Rays earlier, I actually went in there half an hour before I actually sat down and ate food because it was so busy. And then obviously now we've got this reservation. And if I could have, I would have switched this reservation, but holiday calories don't count. So I've heard anyway. Also, I'm noticing the park seems to be getting quieter. So I wonder if the sun is putting a lot of people off or what it could be people have just came to the park really really early and they're just absolutely knackered so they're, they're away home there's a lot of families and there's a lot of groups so this is the thing right i've been talking to a lot of you guys on insta today and i know a lot of you have been like helping me out bless you honestly and i really really appreciate it. a lot of you have been like on the park times looking at the queue times and stuff and send me screenshots of like which right to go to which honestly i really appreciate i really appreciate honestly it means a lot but what I will say about the app is by the time you've got there, so like for example, someone sent me, I think it was a 40 minute for Pirates of the Caribbean earlier. So I went walking towards it and by the time I got there, it went up to 80 minutes. So that's the thing, it's kind of, maybe, maybe the app's delayed, I don't know. Let me know if anyone knows this, maybe the app's delayed. But anyway, I'm waffling. Genie Plus so far has been all right today. It's honestly, if you're gonna get Genie Plus in, two parks it's going to be hollywood studios and magic kingdom i don't think it's worth it in animal kingdom or epcot personally at the moment as as you're watching this 2022 obviously things may change but i definitely think magic kingdom oh that's me my reservation's done sitting down now but what i was saying is i feel like genie plus so far to think of how busy the park is i feel like i've had my money's worth 
honestly, it's always going to be hit and miss with Genie Plus. And I know some of you will watch it and think it's not worth it, and some of you will watch it and will. And that's the thing with Genie Plus, it's quite polarizing. I would say it's kind of 50 50. More people are warming towards it. I'm going to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I much prefer the old system. However, of course I'm going to say that because it was free. And sometimes I hate saying that because I feel like I repeat myself. And, you know, Disney aren't bothered what I think or what many people think, obviously. That's why they've changed it. That's why they've got this. So if any of you are wondering what I meant by it's not letting me do my genie, like, book another one, this is what keeps happening. This is the screen I keep getting. If any of you in the comments, obviously I'm going to go to guest services, I hate going to guest services because bless, the staff are always so busy and they've always got like long lines and they're always dealing with complaints and I hate to like put anyone out, you know what I mean? But I've, I am going to go because I want to find out firstly for you guys what's, what's wrong. But secondly, I paid $15 for this. <laughs> I want to get me money's worth. Surely you can book more than two Genie Plus rides unless it's changed. It's Disney. Everything changes. Honestly, right, sometimes you guys message me and they're like, Dan, like, what's the latest on this? What's the latest on that? Honestly, like, I, I feel bad sometimes, but I'm always, I feel like sometimes just saying, honestly, you're best off just going on the website because I can't keep up. Like, things change all the time where I'm like, I feel like I'm out the loop. It's honestly, Liam. Everyone message Life of Liam actually if you want your latest Disney news because he's the one that tells me every day I'll get a message off Liam. Liam, Liam, Liam could like could work for like the news for Disney. Actually, Liam, Liam wants to start YouTube. Start your own Disney news because honestly, he's on he's on the game. He's on the ball with it. Honestly. And here we go, it's arrived, it tastes like chicken. This was $25, guys, on the menu. I'm honestly gonna be completely honest with you. I wouldn't usually get as much food as this because I had the cheeseburger spring rolls, I had the salad, a cosmic rays, and now I've got this. Honestly, I would never you. It, what happened was is, because of Ben's cancellation of his flight, I had to change my reservations this evening because we're actually going to Epcot, which is going to be in next week's vlog. Um, we're actually eating the Tapanieros, but originally that wasn't the case. Ben was going to be arriving and we were going to be sitting down with this, but because Ben's flight has been delayed, I've like been move moving reservations around. <clears throat> and when I actually opened my Disney experience earlier, I was thinking to myself, oh my God, I've actually got two, res two dining reservations on the same day. Now, I wouldn't usually do that. Generally, my how I would usually do each day is I would eat light all day, cereal bars, maybe little snacks here and there, and then have an, an evening meal on a night time. So I'm really feeling it today, and to be honest, I'm feeling really full. This is the reason why I've only ordered a main, um, saying that I could have ordered a starter, but I always feel a bit guilty, you know, like ordering just a starter in a restaurant, and I don't think you can order kids' meals, so yeah. I feel really greedy. I feel a bit minging, actually. <laughs> Here's test. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't know what I told you as well. I've got a Diet Coke. That's another thing as well. Generally, around the parks, I wouldn't buy a lot of soft drinks. I would generally tend to just drink water. But it's the first day. I think sometimes when you're on your first day, even the parks, I feel like you sometimes will spend more. Right, I have an update. So, spoke to the amazing cast member, Emily. Emily, thank you so much. I gave her the channel and stuff, and she was like, oh, I'll check you out. But, so, honestly, Emily, thank you. Bless her. So, what she's done is she said it's a common thing. So, if you get that problem, guys, it's common. Don't worry about it. A lot of people are experiencing the same thing. What she's done is she's went into the system and she's issued me basically a fast pass so I can get straight on any ride and I've picked Big Thunder Mountain with that. And also, bless her, she didn't have to and I didn't ask for it, but she's actually issued me a full refund for Genie Plus today as well. Like I say, I didn't ask for it, I didn't say I want a refund or anything, she just said, you know, we're going to issue you a refund for what's happened. I believe that, to be honest, I was next to another person who was also saying the same thing, who also got a full refund, so it must just be Disney's thing. If you're having that issue, obviously they asked for evidence, so she asked us to bring up my phone to show her what was happening. She could see on the system that I hadn't made a fast pass for like six hours. So yeah, she she should be refunded now. I say I just really hugely appreciate it. And that's the thing with Disney. If there's an issue, they will go above and beyond to fix it. Some companies aren't like that. Some companies, if you've had an issue, they'll not really do much for you. Disney really do try to make your day as magical as it can be because they obviously know 
you've paid a lot of money to be here, you know what I mean? Date as well, Splash Mountain is back up guys. I know a lot of you have been DMing me on Insta asking about when it was going to open. It's, it's now open. on this ride honestly and it's because I've got such long legs it's actually easier being on it on your own I'm not gonna lie I just had a bit of emotional wobble before I don't know why I just I don't know every time I come here I just like you know when we're at home we always dream of being here don't we and we always want to be here regardless of what we're doing we we'll either watch travel day vlogs or we'll watch other vlogs like I, I know like myself personally I watch a lot of other youtubers and I'll you know watch Instagrams and stuff and you always want to be here yourself because you just want that bit of bit, bit a little bit of magic. You know when you've had that really bad day, you wake up out of bed that morning and you just feel awful. And you always dream of being here. And I feel like when I got here, I was being a bit of a, a morning martless, we should say, because of how busy the park was. But obviously I still appreciated being here. And I don't know, I've just I've just had such an amazing day and being on Big Thunder Mountain, you know really brings it home and I've just got so many amazing memories here and, and I've got a lot of you guys just being the best friends ever and supporting and sending me lush DMs and I just, I just, yeah, I just really, really appreciate it and I don't know, I've just, I've just had a really good day. Just coming down Main Street now, it just doesn't feel right for me to be on Main Street and not actually get a Starbucks and look at that, that looks awesome. And I suppose the question is, what drink do we get? Oh, there's them 50th merch cups again. Must say, I love it. However, I just know for a fine fact, I'll lose them straight away. Give it a week and it'll be lost somewhere. And I would buy one of these, but Con thinks there's way too much Disney stuff in the house. Let me know if you think he's wrong. We all know he's wrong. Caramel Frappuccino, that's what I went with. There could have been many I could have went. There was like a Caramel Frappuccino. There was a ca You know what Starbucks is like, there's so many different options. But I just literally went with the basic. And honestly, it's so nice. Right, well it's time to leave Magic Kingdom for this video. I honestly, I've had such an amazing day when I first got here. I was a bit, mmm, it's gonna be busy. It was hot. But you know what, it's came out really, really well. And again, do you know, I always say this to you guys when you ask. Sometimes it's best to avoid the parks when it's as hot as what it has been today and come on an evening when that sun starts to go down and it's just it just honestly drops a couple of degrees and it's just a lot more it's it's you can cope a lot more better you know especially if you're not used to the heat and anyway guys I'm gonna call this video here because in next week's video well should I say in 10 minutes for me I need to get over to Epcot because I've got dining reservations and that over there so I am gonna call it for this video today I honestly would say Genie Plus was a success now I know you'll be thinking well well, you would say that Dan when you've had a refund for it but honestly overall the park has been really really busy and as and if Genie Plus actually worked today and what I mean is if I could have got that third or fourth reservation I would have easily got on because there was park times available the problem is I just couldn't book them. I do feel like I've spent a lot more than what I usually would and I'll tell you the reason why. I think because the park has been so busy and when I first got here I was a bit overwhelmed I feel like my escapism was well if I sit indoors and have lunch or have a drink or just try and avoid the crowds it would feel better and I'm one of these people and to be honest Disney's so busy you can't really just sit at a table and not order so obviously it was a bit like Cosmic Rays I, I, to be honest I, I kind of regret that it was money that I just didn't need to spend and because this is Disney on a budget and I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys it was a waste of money that it was completely a waste of money not Disney's fault my fault I should never have ate a Cosmic Rays I've eaten way too much today and yeah so if, if you're going to try and do something guys just don't do that <laughs> don't be eating don't be eating so much maybe an alternative would be to find a corner somewhere have a seat maybe bring some cereal bars or maybe some pre-made food if you didn't want to spend the money or if you want to spend the money but you don't want to eat it like somewhere where it's going to cost a bit maybe get a sweet snack on main street for maybe four or five or six dollars a lot cheaper than paying for a full meal at a sit down restaurant but anyway guys if you've liked this video make sure you smash that like button and if you haven't hit hit subscribe already hit that subscribe button just want to say a huge thank you to my patreon members patreon members get access to early vlogs and things like that if you'd be interested in patreon the link is below anyway guys youtube's telling me this should be 
the next video you click on. However, before you click on that, let me know in the comments how you're finding this series. I want to get some feedback from you guys. How are you finding it? Disney on a budget? Is it helping you? Let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next week's vlog when we're in Epcot. Bye guys, see you soon and enjoy your days and thank you so much for being the best friends ever. Bye guys, bye.